Hey, we are now watching episode 6 of Legend of Korra season 2. So in the last episode, we found out that the president is useless. Like, in the real life. I mean, uh, no comment. And we're gonna... <laughs> kind of political. I'm just... In general, though, he really sounded like a politician where he just didn't want to, you know, interfere with anything. Just let things be where he's gonna sit aside. And the avatar is a little too black and white for us right now. Where she doesn't really see anything besides her way. She's apparently got killed by the spirit in the last episode, so that's the end of Korra, I guess. Well, well. It kind of sucks, you know? I, mean, I thought we'd see more of her, but she apparently died when the spirit ate her, so... What can I say? What can I say? Sorry. Okay, we're just gonna start. Aang's gonna have to show up again. But it's cool that Roku is the... Where? You know, in the beginning. Oh, yeah. That's right. It does? What evidence? The detectives might be on it, too. Because they seem, like, completely apathetic. <laughs> The Sting. <laughs> Wait, is this a ship from the first episode? I was about to ask. That'd be a oh, cool no. twist. I think uh -oh. it's somebody else. Oh, they're delivering tanks. And the, ta the ship's being attacked. Eric is not gonna be happy about this. Where do they get bombs? Like, there's no details on this. Where is he? Father said he would meet us at this location. He'll be He's inside here. there. Yep. Unless he's controlled by the spirit. Mm. You didn't get her. The avatar is dead. <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> yeah, I knew they would. <laughs> Did they could trust yeah, him as a dog? A oh. polar dog. We must stop the evil Unalak. The Southern Water Tribe is mine. Next I dressed him up like like Ozai. With my <laughs> oh yeah. Day device. <laughs> <laughs> For I am Nuktuk, hero of the cell. Just stands there waiting and pauses. <laughs> You're not here, our best friend. Nuktukity. You are the best snow. <laughs> Who's gonna fight for friends and freedom? Nuktuk. <laughs> He's the biggest, baddest, stunningest man I know. Battle in North East. I like how they use obvious props for the yeah. hands. That's very, that's good detail. You're a star. People love stars. Stars tell them what to think and how to act. Of course you Ginger doesn't look very happy. Yeah. to do anything. They got to want to do it themselves. Hmm. That's an interesting observation about propaganda. Not so fast, evil. Those two fall on the side. I will save my true love. And the south. You can see the string behind him. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's oh, nice. nice. That's shadow. Yeah. Interesting idea. Yeah, that is. And he escaped from Unalak's trap and saved the beautiful ginger. Find out next week on the Adventures of Nocturne, Hero of the We got some major chemistry on screen. Am I right? Yeah. On screen. That's the first time I heard her talking. Are you mad? Either one of your ships has been captured. The good news is it looks like your first mover has gotten a great reception. That's old news. Let's go. <laughs> Why don't I just send him by airship? No. Chief Beifong is about to question the captain of the ship. The bombs exploded in a way I've never seen before. They didn't have fuses. It was like they were being detonated remotely. I can't believe they took my fifth favorite ship in the Varric Industries fleet. <laughs> my fifth favorite my ship. Mom. Rest in peace, Rocky Bottom. <laughs> money from wow. that Was this one of the guys who attacked? No, I don't recognize him. Yeah, how would he see him? Yeah. Yeah. Embarrassing. No, it's a long shot, but I have an idea how we can catch these guys. Yeah, let's all listen to the rookie. Lu and Gong are idiots. I hate them and their stupid mustaches. <laughs> Forget that shit. Actually, good thing they didn't tell me, but they're so incompetent they probably might have said something, or they're the ones inside on it. Yeah. Mako, I need your help. My mom is gone. My dad is in jail. Oh. Future Industries is all I have left of my family. Plus, her character died in Avatar, so you know, it's just her here now. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> love being in on plans. The less you know, the better. Perfect! I love not knowing things. Alright, I'm in. Let's get these guys. Okay. And Varric is, uh, I don't know what to make of him yet, though, <laughs> completely. He's great, Like, he's, he's funny as hell, but... so much fun with him. I wonder if he's doing part of a secret op. Oh, he's got... The ship's all loaded with the dummy crates. We need some extra manpower. Forget about Korra. I'll go talk to Bolin. 
extra muscle. So let's grab her as his brother. Is this a marble statue of you? <laughs> we don't even have hats. That's because we've never had a hat rack. <laughs> and now we do. Figure it out. Remember? That's what she said to me. Hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> Ow! My instrument! <laughs> Jeez. Are you sure this is a good idea? No. But it's our last Oh, who's he turning to? Hey, Mako. Whatever you think we did, we didn't do it. So, Mr. Law and Order needs our help. Well, this is ironic. What? I've got vehicles. They can be yours if you help. I think we got ourselves. I can't trust them, though. Yeah. But what, what's their job? What's the manpower for? What's it like dating the Avatar? Come on, Mako. I gotta know. <laughs> the games are just so weird here. I want to know about the Avatar's romantic life. If I was dating the Avatar, I'd tell you all about it. <laughs> He's right. Jeez. Nothing to know. I broke up with her. You broke up? I have a chance. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Mako says he broke up with the Avatar. Sure he did. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about me. You must capture the evil Unalak before you That's actually a bit dangerous. No, that I'll is, yeah. You. <laughs> Cut! Your girlfriend's about to die, and instead of untying her, you kiss her. Dad. Wait a minute. Maybe that will work. Yes! It's genius! Everybody take five. So, that kiss. Oh my god, Bowen's such a fucking idiot. Let's kiss a girl without her consent. No Let's way. do it on scene. Nuck Tuck is Bolin. I'm a hero. And that's why they call me Two Toed Pink. Because you have. I love how they're all talking to him about it. We were paid to keep Mako and that dame distracted for a few hours, so that's what we're gonna do. We've been double crossed. We have to get off this ship. Where do you think you're going? So who's doing this? Well, if there's one thing she's good at, it's driving. <laughs> They're not benders at all, right? Nope. Oh, what? They are benders? Oh, I feel like them being a... No, wait. Is he an earthbender? Oh. Well, at least they're close to Republic City. That's true. Watch out! We're not gonna make it. Indiana Jones. <laughs> Indiana Jones reference. Oh. Oh, water bender. Mako, hang on to something. Oh, nice. <laughs> Someone paid the triple threats to keep us distracted. Distracted? Huh. Oh no. Taking our tanks. Oh no. Should be completely. Uh, Varric's gotta be in on this then, right? Whoever paid the triple I'm ruined. Yeah. Oh, it's gotta no. be Varric, right? He's the only one that's got money to use. I'm not giving up on you. <gasps> Sorry. I... Uh, you're not mad about last night, are you? Who hired you to double-cross us? I think you do know. And you're gonna tell me, or we're gonna have to change your name to No Toad Pink. <laughs> really? I don't... After you left the hideout, some mook showed up and said his boss would pay us to keep you distracted. Some mook, huh? Oh, hello, Mako. Didn't notice you there. He's way becoming too much Where's of himself. Eric? There's gonna be some crazy pyrotechnics. We need Nuck Tuck on set, running explosion scene. Or sometimes we just call them explosions. <laughs> Wish I could stand around here and check. Okay, the set is clear. Can yeah, where's Varric? This is suspicious. Action. How did you rig those explosions to go off like that? It's a Varric Industries exclusive. Here, check it out. The explosions use a remote detonator. Varric. Oh. Figures that Varric's nice. behind it. Nice. Asami, I think I know who set us up. Hello. Varric bought a controlling interest in future industries. Isn't that great? You think you know who hired the triple threats? Yeah, and I'm real close to proving it. Oh. Mako's got to be careful now. Mako and him, Varric look at each other like they yeah. knew. They both know that he knew. Oh, Korra. Korra's not dead? Wow. What a surprise. <laughs> Feels like it's been a while since we've seen her. Oh. Oh, she made it. Get away from me! It's okay. We're here to help you, Avatar Korra. Who's... 
who's Avatar Korra? <laughs> How did you end up on our island? I don't know. Okay, amnesia. So this will be a plot problem for the next few weeks. <laughs> when I say a few weeks, I mean story time. Story-wise. Wow, you timed that perfectly. <laughs> You're like, schwam, I produced like magic. it. <laughs> wow, that was a... Uh... Oh, Mako really shined in this Who would have thought that Varric? Yeah, I guess that makes... So Varric and Unilock are working together the whole time? So he's framing the uh, the Northerners. He wants the Northerners to go after the Southerners. Why? What's in it for him? Besides Money. getting future industries tech. Power? <sighs> it's always power. It's always no, power with these people. different from Unalakton. Yeah. M Money and power. So Varric's all, uh, you know, stupidity is, was just a cover for him being smart. I started to suspect him, though, at the beginning. Well, yeah. The wording of that, uh, where we're going to send, you know, shipments down south. The way he said that seems kind of strange. Caught me off guard. Yeah, and now he realizes it's a distraction. Everything was his plan. Yeah. But He's smart. <laughs> why didn't he just buy everything from Asami? He's from the Water Tribe, right? Or something? Yeah, that's right. He's Water Tribe. So he must be Northerner. Or, He's secretly uh, a Northerner, but... I don't understand his plan, though. So let's help them escape to Republic City and then do nothing? What if he needs the Avatar? I don't understand this situation at <laughs> all. If he worked for Unalak, he could have turned in the Avatar. Yeah, unless he time. doesn't work for so Unalak. He, he probably works by himself. Yeah, he's, he's just a third faction. That's why That's why Mako said this isn't the Northern Water Tribe people. It's not Ulak's men, it's Varric's men. Ah. So there's like a third faction involved in all this mess. Well, it's Varric is working with Unalak. I guess we'll just hedge our bets and figure out who it Unalak is. Unalak and Varric working together is a weird combo. Yeah. Well, and then again, he worked with like that judge, for example, who got him sentenced. True, but the I feel like the judge makes God that whole pop point seems like a million years ago now. Yep, and now Cora's gonna do this amnesia thing for the next few episodes, I guess. Or she doesn't Just remember. to relearn the Avatar state and everything. Oh God, that'd be hell. <laughs> My air bending skills are gone. <laughs> what's what's bending? How do you eat? <laughs> oh, so that's when they'll probably get a uh, Tenzin back. Yeah. Called the Fire Nation there. It's funny how the Fire Nation are like all nice and friendly. <laughs> yeah, that, that's so <laughs> like weird the to opposite. see. <laughs> they look like Roku's men from the temple. Yeah, they know, looked a bit like very that. Very wise. And Wait, patient. they said island, so maybe it's not the Fire Nation. It could be the uh, temple. Yeah, it could be some a yeah. temple occupied by them. It's nice to see Fire Nation people again. Yeah, after a season and a half. Yeah, we've funny. never seen them. I've seen, seen them in a while. Mm -hmm. But Amako uh, really shined in this episode, and he and Asami, a uh, poor Asami. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of kissing going around. <laughs> She was sad and distraught, I guess. Yeah, but it's... Mako obviously wasn't comfortable with it. No, he he just yeah. broken up with Koi. And Bolin's gotten... kiss was really stupid. That shit. That was so dumb of him to do. Yeah. He's he's way in over his head. Way over his head, way full of himself right yeah. now. It's just. Yeah. I'm waiting for uh, something to knock him back on his feet knock, and knock him to his senses. Naga needs to go over there and just smack him in the face. With and his then paw. that does now or Eska. God, which one is that? I don't even have my phone right here to check. So they tell, you know, like, the Avatar is dead. And he's just like, okay. No evidence, nothing. She's dead. We're, we're sure of this. <laughs> well, he looks shocked. Well, yeah, he looks surprised. But that kind of ruins his plans, too, because now he has to brief the new Avatar who could be a baby on everything. He has to look for <laughs> the new Avatar. That could be a problem. So. And he was in the spirit world. He's working with them, against them, planning something. Who so the hell knows? there's somebody in charge uh, higher than Unala. <laughs> Unless Unlock is trying to work against them for his own uh, ends. Mm. Man, this is a complicated plot now. Yeah, it is. It seemed to start simple, and now it's gotten more complicated. Mm. I think this is the last episode done by the a different animation studio. And the next episode is going to be a new one. They oh. said it was six episodes or something. I've seen two. That's cool. Yeah, that is. I would. I, I look forward to seeing that. I think so. I don't think he said six episodes, so maybe it's like more than that. That's all right. We'll Somewhere out. down the line, anyway. But I don't know if the animation is going to be different, even though it's done, done by a different studio. Mm. I mean, done by the original studio after the different studio. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, so far, the plot seems to be, you know, going somewhere. Just, we're not, just not sure what's going it's on. so complicated now. I feel yeah. like the last season was pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward, but also pretty cool and epic, in a way. Yeah. Where it was building. It had these subtle hints here and there. And the last episode was very it. emotional. Yeah. And this one is... Ooh, so soon it was just led into uh, selling her company. Yeah, poor Varric. Asami. Varric just wanted the technology. Mako, okay, those two cops have to be working for Varric because they keep saying, it was the Northerners, okay? It's the, how could it be anyone else? Fucking, Beifong is way too oblivious. 
Yeah, she is. Which is weird because she was the one that was listening to Cora in the first ep- first season mm-hmm. about, you know, conspiracies and whatnot. She doesn't know Mako as well as Cora. If it were Cora telling her that, she might listen. Yeah, so she doesn't tell Cora what to do. Cora's just like, I'm going to do this. And she's like, oh, good luck. Do what you want. <laughs> Pretty much. But Mako is under her authority. So yeah. she has a responsibility to keep him in line. Yep. Overall, that was a, another fun episode. Yeah, that was, um, was good. Can't wait to see where this goes. And Looking forward to seeing more, that's for sure. And looking forward and to... And hoping this will definitely go somewhere. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. And uh, our reaction to episode 6. And we'll see you guys for episode 7 next time. Take care and peace out. We'll see you guys next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>